Hey, Miles here, milesbecker.com. This video is going to review the results from 26 months of content marketing. We're gonna go inside of the analytics on my YouTube channel, my podcast, as well as my blog to look at what's been going on, right? What does the data say the results are from all of my activity? Now, the big major idea that I want to share before we jump in is, you know, at this point I'm 26 months in and that might sound like a big deal to you, but not very long ago and honestly, it feels like it was yesterday, I just started. I didn't know what I was teaching about. I didn't know exactly what topics I was gonna cover. I knew I needed to create and publish content to really grow the audience and and then I've just kind of stumbled forward. I did 120 videos in 120 days. So that was a video per day published every day for four months. And then I shifted over to the three videos per week kind of pace that I'm still on to this day. And I still barely know where I'm going, right? Like I might have one or two video ideas, but everything is really done in the spur of the moment. It took me six months of putting out videos every single day or down to three a week for the last, um, last two months in that period before I even started growing my email list. I didn't even get my uh, opt-in, my lead magnet done for six months into the process because it was just so much work and energy for me to just give and do the videos, give value through the videos. That was all I could do. At about year one, I got my blog system to where I was getting the videos transcribed and published on my blog. And then about year one and a half, um, about 18 months in is when I got the podcast system going. So they're all kind of varying at different levels of uh, how long they've been around and been alive. And ultimately, really that big key is if you start but if you haven't started yet, and if you start today and you just get going and you stick with it, eventually you'll be able to look back and say, wow, I've been doing this for 26 months and that's where I'm at today. And it doesn't feel like I've been really doing it for 26 months, even though I have times tricky like that time's going to keep on going, whether you're taking action towards your goals, towards growing your business or not. So you might as well just start taking action towards your goals and towards growing your business. All right. I'm off the soapbox at this point and I want to jump in and look at some data. So you can see here on my channel that I've got 71,681 subscribers at this point, um, at the current growth growth rate that I'm on, I'm, I'm assuming about 10 months or less, I'll cross the 100,000 mark unless something changes, but um, about 3,000 subscribers per month is where I'm at. You can see I'm at 429 videos in that time frame. So I've done, I, I think I've deleted about four or five videos from my channel over, over the years, but uh, so I've done about 430 videos in just over two years and uh, 26 months, two years and two months for you if you weren't uh, on top of that right away. Now you can see my watch time is down a little bit, but it's only down 1.6%. My average view duration is up a little bit, but only 0.3%. And my views number is down about 2% roughly. So relatively even here inside of YouTube, nothing major going on. I'm going to scroll back to the last 90 days because I think kind of zooming out a little bit can can really be helpful. And you can see I'm in a very clear channel, right? Like the the, the highs don't get much higher than this right here, about 54,000 views in a day or minutes in a day watched is about my highest. And then that kind of correlates right here with about 7,700 views in a day. And my lows seem to be, you know, between 4,500 and 7,500 seems to be where I'm currently operating in the number of views per day. And this is the power of doing consistent content marketing is you get consistent results. Like I'm putting in a lot less effort today than I was when I first got going and I'm getting significantly more results. Now, when I do the 90 over 90, okay, so we're looking at this time, the uh, the last 90 days is blue, and then the 90 days before that is the orange color, and you can see that I'm up approximately 10%, roughly, give or take, on this. Um, so from 3.3 million minutes viewed to 3.6 million minutes view, that's about 300,000 increase. Uh, and then on the views number, I went from about 480,000 to 515,000. That's approximately a 30,000 increase. So that's maybe 8% or so, just some, some napkin math right there. So you can tell that I'm slowly growing 
but it's not drastic, right? And nothing on this channel ever has been and nothing ever probably will be. There's not gonna be a viral video that that just blasts me or most of you off into like the next level, right? It's actually the compounding effect of doing the work day in and day out for month in and month in and year in and year out that creates massive results because my 10% increase that I'm getting this year versus that 10% increase last year is much larger because those 10% increases are compounding on each other. I have a great video on the power of compounding and that's what the results here show. I'll have that video pop up above my head. It'll be in the top right corner, maybe top left corner. Click on that if you want to understand and really, really help your brain get that compounding is really the ultimate power that you're after in this. Now, one more thing, I'm going to go ahead and cancel my, um, comparison. And then we're going to look at the lifetime of the channel just so you can get a view of what it ultimately looks like. Now I had this Gmail account and I had this account up and running for many years before I published my first video. I published my first video in August of 2016, which is right about here on the timeline. And um, man, it took about six months to nine months to get up into this operating range. And you can even see while consistently putting out videos somewhere around year two, I hit this really low low and I'm now off of the low. It looks like this trend is moving upwards even more, which is exciting. It means I'm in a new positive trend, but the goal of showing you this is that you are going to have highs and you're going to have lows. Nobody goes straight up in the right direction. That's why extreme patience is absolutely required and let's jump into the analytics on that note because you're going to get a kind of a another vantage point of why patience is required. So in the last 30 days from uh, September 24th through today, October 23rd, or maybe that was yesterday at this point, um, 19,000 sessions, right? So about 20,000 visits from 12,300, so about 12,000 individuals for a total of 40,000 page views, 2.0 pages per session. My average session duration is two minutes and 32 seconds. Now, I really like my average session duration. I think a year ago or so, it was down in under a minute. So I've been working really hard to get better longer quality content on my site. And indeed, that's exactly what we're doing. And now that I'm doing a 30 day over 30 day comparison, you're gonna see that I'm actually down 10% in traffic in the last 30 days. I'm down about 8% in the number of visitors and I'm actually down on page views. The pages per session is up. My average session duration is pretty close. My bounce rate is pretty much even at that point. So what I'm showing you here is that even in this, this path, I've got my blog team publishing more frequently than ever. I've got a, a new system in place with the wppublishpro.com kind of team publishing my blog posts for me. Uh, they can publish your blog posts for you if you would like as well. It's kind of like an outsourcing team. So in the last month, I've actually published more blog posts in the last 30 days than I have in, in most months up to this. But you see, I'm actually down on sessions. And this is kind of funny. And ultimately, it generally takes time for the search engine spiders to really analyze what's going on to index all the content properly. They test me in different parts and different places inside of the search engine results. And there's always, um, uh, you know, there's a give and a take. There's an ebb and a flow to it. There's a, a process of from when you publish it through that point when you actually land on the first page and stick your claim on that first page of the search results. So I'm in that little bit of a period and I fully expect these numbers to go up significantly. But here's what I wanna really look at because I wanna do the previous year instead of the previous period. So now we're gonna look at the same month last year versus this year. And you can see I'm actually down from last year at this point. So 13% down from uh, right about 20,000, 22,000 visits down to about 19,000 visits right now. My page views is also down. My average page duration is up. My pages per session is up. And someone might be able to look at this and be like, oh my goodness, like, like the traffic's down, what's going on? I have been in the game long enough that I literally ignore this. Personally, if it wasn't to show you these results and show you what's going on, I would probably rarely, if ever, maybe once every three months or six months, log into analytics because my viewpoint at where I'm at in the game and what I'm focusing on is my job right now is to put out as much helpful content as I possibly can. There's bloggers who have been blogging for a decade longer than I have, and I got a lot of catching up to do. So now for me personally is not the time to look at these results and make decisions based on the results and, and ultimately care about what is going on with the results. Could it potentially be um, an identifier for, for optimization needs here and there? Sure, there is kind of a, an argument to be made on that, but every one of my posts is 
optimized based on my learn SEO video that's doing really well. So I'm doing the work and I need to really make sure that I'm able to spend the next two to three years of really just doing the work, doing the work, doing the work, not second guessing the process, not second guessing anything. I got some big time people who have been publishing lots of content for years and years and years that I have to catch up to. So that's why I'm able to look at this and just be like, oh, okay, that's interesting. It's not terribly scary to me. Now I wanna run one more year comparison and I'm gonna drop it back yet another year here. So now we're looking at this versus the year before. And this is where you're going to see. So this is the last 30 days versus the 30 days from when I first started in the 2016, right? So I did my first video in August of 2016. So this is showing you the difference on my blog from the September of 2016 through today. So this is two years growth. And you can see I've got like an 11,000% growth on the sessions, 14,000% uh, users. I was getting traffic, but literally it was under three people a day on average is what I was getting back two years ago. And this is really the big kind of um, aha moment. And this is again showing the power power of compounding. If we zoom in too much, the month over month, the little changes that happen in our business, we sometimes can, can kind of lose the forest, you know, we lose a tree from the forest or the forest from the trees. There's some fancy saying around that. But if we look at the wrong metrics, we can maybe get ourselves thinking or doubting our approach or reconsidering other approaches or thinking about shifting into another niche. And those are all the most dangerous thoughts for an internet entrepreneur. The big goal ultimately is to, to create a plan, stick with that plan and work that plan for three to five years, not even three years in, not, I'm not even, I'm like two, I'm 10 months away from three years in at this point. And then boy, I'm not even, you know, I'm two and a half years away from being five years in. I'm actually more than two and a half, I'm not even halfway to the five year mark, which to me, that's where all of this is really going to get interesting. And that's kind of the level of patience I have is I'm just going to go do the work, do the work, do the work for five years straight. And ultimately I know for a fact, I'm going to have some drastic results. I'm already seeing these results here, which is where I started two years ago to where I am today. And now I know that if I just keep with it over time, those little ups and downs I'm seeing right now are going to vanish because ultimately I will at some point in the process of publishing at the pace I'm publishing now over the course of five years, I will outwork everyone and I will have more higher quality, better, more valuable content on my blog than other people who currently hold that title, right? They've got the belt in their hands and I'm sitting doing my training, doing my work to get ready to go challenge them for said belt. And Google will begin to give me more and more and more traffic over time. So that's really, I think it's good for me to show you um, the downs in with the ups. I've had a lot of up months on these videos, but there's a down month for you. And that's my perspective of it. Like I really don't care. I probably wouldn't even have noticed if I didn't have that monthly like, oh yeah, I do this video for you every month at this time. Um, and ultimately I'm, I'm just excited about where I'm at on the two year phase, looking back over two years and thinking about where I'm going to be in five years, three years from now. That's the really exciting point for me. That's where extreme patience is required. Lastly, this is the last pillar I got going on the three pillar content marketing strategy is the podcast itself. And you can see on the podcast, um, the last few months I've been well into the solid 6,000 range. We've got about a week left in this, in this month. And I think over the next week, looking at the math, three quarters of the way through. So if I add 25%, um, I'd say I'm going to be right about 6,600 um, downloads this month, which is really cool. I've got these really high highs popping up, which is exciting. Um, hitting the, the high 500 marks. My lows are down into 87, um, you know, what is that? Uh, 46. So, so 50 to 80 up to 550 or more is my operating range here on the podcast. Really ultimately the podcast is just the audio format of my videos that don't share the screen. So it's simply uh, a process that my virtual assistant does to get my content onto yet another platform. If you haven't found my podcast feed yet, go search in your podcast app for miles Beckler and I'll pop up. Be sure you subscribe. Leave me a comment. If you wouldn't mind, if you're on Android and you don't have an app stitchers, a good app, so is Podbean. And you can find me in either of those apps. If you're on iTunes, just search in the podcast app. And that's how a large segment of my audience, right? Upwards of 500 people a day or more are able to go consume my content while they're doing other things. They're commuting, they're driving to work, they're on the train, they're walking the dog, they're in the gym and they're building their mindset, right? They're expanding their mindset. They're learning. They're really working on forging that entrepreneurial mindset for success because it's a long path and you really need to 
be sure you're filling your mind with positive ideas and not everyone has the time required to sit down and watch YouTube videos. So they like to go to my podcast. And this is the third pillar in the three pillar content marketing strategy. I produce these videos first. This is my goal is to get these videos out. I have a team that turns my videos into blog posts for me. I have an assistant who turns my video audio feed into podcast episodes. I stay focused on what is most important for me, which is creating more great content for you in the kind of medium that's easiest for me, right? These YouTube videos happen to be easy for me. Um, if I could wave a magic wand and declare myself a writer and just write a great blog post every day, I would do that, but it takes way too much time and energy. Um, and I have too much doubt around my writing. So I really just focus on making these videos three times a week. And now I have teams and systems in place to make sure that video gets as much reach through syndication as possible. I've even got videos that teach how to, how to syndicate those. If you want to search my channel and that's it. So I hope you found this video to be helpful. I hope you've enjoyed seeing that I've got a down month in there as well. Uh, it happens to us all. Nothing goes up in a straight line ever. Everything has ups and downs as you are going to see in your business. And one of the keys to your long-term success is to stay focused on the long-term and the big picture and to really stay focused on your mission. Because when your mission is to create and give more value than anyone else in your space, which is what I'm after here in this space, then ultimately I'm more focused on how how many videos did I put out this week? How many blog posts did I put up this week? How many podcast episodes have I put out this week? And it's that constant focus on giving value, giving value, giving value that is continuing to grow my audience at a massive pace. Even if the month over month looks small, if we zoom out far enough to the couple of years, it is a drastic 14,000% increase from 90 visitors a month to 14,000 visitors a month. Uh, that's pretty ridiculous if you ask me. And my email list is now well over 7,000 subscribers on its way to 8,000 subscribers. The business is bringing in more cash flow than ever before. It's a very, very healthy business. And ultimately I've been able to create yet another two assets, the Miles Beckler brand and the content and conversion membership program. Both of those are based off of these efforts here. And it has revolutionized my little internet publishing business that I have with my wife. You can do this too. You need to stay focused on giving value and being of service to an audience. That is the ultimate key. You need to be able to kind of emotionally kind of disconnect from the ups and the downs. Sure. Celebrate your victories, but remember that the big victory is following through for five years straight. That's where you're going to make all those gains. that will create that lifestyle business that you ultimately desire. It's in that three to five year plan that ultimately creates the success that you desire. Um, we underestimate what we can do in five years. We overestimate what we can do in one year. So get that mindset, right? Get patience on your side and blaze forward, giving value to your audience. You'll be amazed at what you create. If you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up here. I do appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe. If you haven't yet, I got three videos a week coming out Monday, Wednesday, Friday, got another video coming out in a couple of days for you. And ultimately, if you have any questions, feel free to get at me in the comments below. I'm happy to chat in the comments when I have time. And I thank you for any engagement, for sharing, for whatever you do. Just thank you for being you. I appreciate Appreciate you. I look forward to creating some more great videos for you and I'll catch you on the next video. Until then, be well.